<laughs> With the big one. I just looked right out my little window there. Oh, that's a heck of a perch, Dad. That's a beauty. Yeah. Show off the dad's fish. Look at that. Oh, that one. Yeah, you do. Oh, wait. You just kind of yanked him right in, didn't you? There he is. You got a large mouth and two perch. I got one single large mouth. Oh, yeah. There we go. What we got? Oh, it's a largey. There we go. Not a very big fish, but a little large mouth. Whew, slow day of fishing, but I'll take it. See you, buddy. Okay, well, that's not what you're supposed to do. See you, buddy. There you go. A little Castmaster spoon with a little power bait crappie nibble on there. It's one of my favorite ways to fish when it comes to ice fishing. I'm not saying it's the most productive in the world, but I just like the way you uh, can more aggressively work a spoon as compared to a jig. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, big perch. Yes. There we go. All of a sudden, a couple of perch came up and chased this thing. And uh, this is the one that got it, but there was definitely two or three more with him. And he absolutely inhaled that cast master spoon. Not near as big as the one my dad caught, but nice little perch right there. All right. Cool. See you, buddy. Oh, there was more with him, but I don't know. They might have disappeared by now. Hello and welcome back. Today we are ice fishing, as you can quite clearly see. Looky here, I've got a shelter. I picked up one of those Eskimo 3 eye uh, ice fishing shelters. Just pop it up, super easy to install. And I tell you, this thing's gonna be an awesome investment for years to come. This year, obviously it's been a little bit of a weird winter, so I don't know if I'm gonna get hardly any ice fishing in, but at least here we are today, so I'll get at least one trip. No matter what, I'm just going after perch, bass, really whatever bites. I've caught a few, but it's pretty slow, so fingers crossed for the next 30 or 40 minutes we can catch a few fish. No matter what, feels good to be on the ice. Let's get back to it. There he is. That fish just randomly showed up. A little perch. But I'll tell you what, it's been silent in here ever since uh, I set up the shanty in this location. Just haven't had anything. That fish showed up off the bottom, so I dropped the spoon down and I got him. So let's see if there's another one in there. Just try to drop quick. I've got another rod set up with a uh, plastic. I'm gonna do that instead. Yeah, it's looking silent down there, man. Seems like these fish are probably moving around a little bit, so I think if I just wait them out, eventually they're gonna show up. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, he's after it. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's being, oh, 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 boom, got him. There's numerous fish down there. Yeah, they're just little pesky little perch, but I'll take them. Man, he swallowed that thing. Using like a kind of a purple looking plastic now, kind of like a purple pearlescent type color. Kind of unique. He choked that thing, so obviously he liked it, as you can see. All right, just a little perch, but I'll take anything at this point. Slow fishing day, I'll take dinky perch, man. They're kind of fun, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and get my spoon ready. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, he just ate it. He still got it, he still got it. Oh my gosh. I was trying to rig up my spoon and this big perch came up and ate my plastic while it was just sitting there. Okay, now we've got a little bit of fish. A little bit of fish in action, dude. I just had my jig just hanging there about a foot off the bottom. And this guy came up and just torched it. All right, well, things are getting a little more, a little more fun. A little more fun and frisky. See you, bud. I was just putting a couple crappie nibbles on the spoon and all of a sudden I look down and I see that there's a perch eating my, my jig. Okay, so it definitely seems like the fishing is going to be slow for the most part, and then it's going to be flurries of fishing action, which kind of makes sense. I think these fish are kind of moving around every now and again, a group of fish moves in, catch them, one, two, three, and back to silence. So 
I'm just kind of hanging out and enjoying the, the peacefulness. There's no one else out and about, so I'm just kind of sitting here. It's quiet. It's very, very calm. I feel like I should have brought like a book or something because there's not a whole lot going on, but I like it. Very peaceful, very peaceful. Oh, here comes an, oh! He's gonna build it. Come on, come on, come oh, come eat it. There, you got it. <laughs> he came screaming off the bottom out of nowhere. I thought it was gonna be a bigger fish than that, but I'll tell you, I'll definitely take it. Man, he was nowhere to be seen. All of a sudden, he just screamed off the bottom. Well, one might think that there would be more down there, but that fish kind of just came out of nowhere. I don't see any others down there. Who knows? Maybe there are. Yes, there's definitely a chance. Oh, here we go. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's going to come on. He's going to do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, you little stink. Come on. He's got it. <laughs> there's a better one. Not, not giant, but... Oh man, just so funny how it can be so slow, so slow, and then randomly shows up. That's the same as the last one. I haven't really seen any fish, and then all of a sudden he just kind of sneaks in there. Long and skinny. Yep, Dad's still got the best fish of the day. Any words of wisdom? No, I, you gotta try to get one like mine, though. <laughs> Okay, well, I tell you what, today's been a little bit uneventful, but we've caught fish, yellow perch, a couple bass here and there. Got to spend some time with my dad, so that's always fun. But the main thing is this little shanty right here, the Eskimo Quick Fish 3i, solid product. I'm really excited about it, and I think it's really going to change my approach to ice fishing in the future. As much as I like kind of running and gunning, we'll say, popping a bunch of holes and walking around and exploring a whole lake, I get so cold out there, and so having this, it's probably going to change my approach to ice fishing. I think I'm probably just going to view it more as a camp out, hang out, relax, you know, catch what we catch, you know, certainly going to get out there and pop more holes and do more of the running and gunning with the, when the weather's a little bit nicer, when the sun's out. But anytime there's a lick of wind, I feel like I'm really going to use this. So I'm really, really pleased with this product and I look forward to trying it more in the future. That all being said, I don't know what to expect from the weather moving forward. The reality is we might have two or three more ice fishing trips ahead of us throughout 2023, or we might get zero more. I, I just don't know. So stay tuned. And uh, if I get a chance to ice fish, I will certainly bring you along. Otherwise, this product might be uh, pushed away and put in a box until 2024. We'll see. Either way, hope you're having a good day. We'll catch you next time. There you go. There we go. Whew. It's slippery.